Guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you all checked out my last video and the uh, ICP results. And uh, yeah, I think it was uh, I think it was okay. To be fair, uh, they could have been a lot worse. Don't get me wrong. Um, but overall, you know, the iodine, the silicates. Hopefully, I'll get them underway and get them sorted and get them addressed. Uh, but yeah. I think I think overall I was quite happy with uh, with them, but like I said before in that video, I am going to be uh, doing them uh, every month, so I'm going to be uh, figuring it out, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get it all dialed in and stuff like that. But you know, it was a bit of a bit of an eye opener, and the way I look at it, considering I, did, I haven't done water changes for four years, you know, uh, I think those results are pretty decent, and you know, overall. Dosing um, trace elements into the tank, which in theory, um, not knowing one hundred percent where where they stand, is always dangerous in a sense because you you know you've got nothing to to evaluate it with or balance it with. But it is what it is, um, and yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get it all sorted. But heading onto this to this video, as you can see, you're probably going to know by the title, the new corals did arrive from my friend Paul. A uh, couple of issues gone on with the tank, um, and I've got maybe a couple of uh, things why why that this could be, uh, but it'd be interesting to know what you guys think. First things first, though, as you can see, the Rajo is is here. We've got some rainbow incinerators there, and we've got a two polyp um, day glows always there. Now. Settled into the tank absolutely really really well over the moon with them. Uh as as this time of filming, I've, they've probably been in the tank maybe five days, four days, five days. And as you can see, looking really, really good. Colourful. Uh I thought maybe this this Raja might might look be looking a little bit bleached, but seems to have settled in to the tank to be fair, which I'm happy about. The only issue I have is if it doesn't uh, take to the tank, um, I might have to, you know, at this high, I might have to just lower it down. Um, but then we have an issue of where we're going to actually put it, because obviously we have got corals everywhere now. We've got no real real estate anywhere here, so yeah, we'll have to we'll have to figure out if we have to cover that bridge. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be. These. Uh, Day glow zoas have really settled in well. If this fish will get out of the way, always the always the case. They always know when I'm filming, but yeah, settled in, and thankfully they've not uh, not melted away, which is a good thing. I know they do. Some of them do have a tendency to do that, but yeah, really, really well done. Well, and these rainbow incinerators said before that I might have to move them because they're right in the line of fire with this mp10 uh, sorry mp4 so i might have to move it uh but we'll see we'll see we'll see where we we'll see where we stand but i think now it just gives that whole whole little rock scape there that i added to the tank it just looks uh like it's going to be filling in really really nice obviously these duncans are absolutely thriving the clove polyps as well this uh this um candy cane D different colour strain of candy cane is doing really really good as well here and like I said the frog spawn and the hammer are all settled in so overall guys I think that this this little mountain is going to really take off and really really come to life this Monte if you remember I moved which was it was down on the bottom here I moved here actually growing more and more um, if you see this was a little dead spot didn't know really what what don't know whether someone had tried to eat it or anything. But since I've moved it up here, um, it's it yeah it's thriving. It's doing really really good, and now it's beginning to grow out this side, which it wasn't before. So hopefully that'll just keep taking off, and yeah we'll see where it goes from there. But once again, it might have to be moved. Might have to move that. I don't know until obviously it grows. All the other corals, guys, uh, you see all the time. This uh, scully is just absolutely ballooning. 
the, uh, the the bubble coral as per usual. Everything all growing really, really well. These mushrooms are absolutely loving this shade under here. They're, they're, they're absolutely ginormous. Really don't know why they took to, to, to being in the shade. But they have actually grown really, really big. And then we just have the, the torches that are doing well. Uh, this this here as well, doing really well. Might have to move it because it, I think it is being stung slightly. Or it has been stung slightly, we can see. Might have to just adjust that and move it. These little frags have been snapped off this uh, Maggie tort here, which I just fell on the floor and I've just left them. And then we have the seduction zoas. And then we have our new coral, well, our latest the coral edition. The uh, beautiful little piece here. Absolutely love it. It's loving life down on the bottom here as well. So, yeah, fingers crossed it'll, uh, it'll continue to like but going on to some bad news which i think um i've uh, got to tell you well i don't actually know whether it is bad news to be fair is this yellow yellow one here if you remember i had this digi and it was stinging it if you look back on my last video you'll be able to see and somebody did say to just snap it but i think to be honest i think they've been having a bit of coral warfare and this is what you're going to get guys when i've said it before in past videos i've basically stacked my corals too far too close together too tight especially in this 350 especially the sps on this side and uh, i've made a rod for my own back and basically it's come to the point where i think it starts to sting it and uh, one of the digi has just took over there's the digi that snapped which was stinging it but the, it's not actually dyed if you look it's not actually dyed it's just discolored uh, so i don't know whether it's the polyp extension is still there but I don't know whether it's just like being a bit peed off uh, with life in general. Uh, and yeah, I, don't, I really don't know, to be honest, to be fair. But there's nothing I can do. I've just got to hold out. And hopefully that it'll pull through. But only time will tell. We'll see. We'll see where we go. Where we go from there. Um, I'm sorry about my voice, guys. I've still got this, uh, this cold or this flu. I've had it, God, eight, ten days now. So yeah. Still a bit bunged up, so pardon me if uh, I feel in a bit under the weather. But overall, guys, I think the tank is looking really, really good now. I think it's starting to settle in, and I just can't wait to hopefully see this this completely grow over. The Hollywood Stunner over there, with the uh, the urchin on the top, that's just absolutely just taken over. I've just literally snapped a few more pieces off the back, the back shelf of it, if you can see. Uh, because obviously it's getting in the way of the uh, the old monster just here and yeah just a bit of coral warfare all the time but it's a beautiful piece but it definitely needs to be on its own guys it's just one of those uh, one of those corals that you know you need you really do need to have a big tank and if you do put it in you've got to take into account that it just completely grows so fast that uh, it will be, it's basically like an invasive species it just takes over and you're just forever snapping pieces off throwing them and or giving them away because like i said it's just it's just so uh how can i put it yeah invasive basically that's the word that you're looking for it's just an invasive species it just grows so so fast i only wish that my uh, rainbow chalice would grow that quick but uh yeah unfortunately it doesn't but overall the uh the tank is not doing too bad guys um i'm quite happy with everything that's gone on in all honesty um i was looking to be honest um a fellow reefer has got a uh well um the trident and i was looking at maybe implementing that but after speaking it to, to a few people they say well how long how often do you test your you know your calcium and magnesium and stuff like that and in all honesty you don't really test them um really in theory i mean out, out of the magnesium, it's very rarely I do test that. Um, only if, like, say, for instance, I'll just think to myself, well, you know what, I've got nothing to do. I'll just give it a test. Um, and I'll test it. But nine times out of ten, you really only test for the calcium. And you really only test for your your, your, mag uh, your uh, alkalinity. Those are two of the main things. Obviously, apart from the others, which are, like, salinity and stuff like that, which really I have been testing, especially since the uh, the, 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 the Tunza um, incident. But 
going on to the Tundra. The Tundra have sent me my uh, ATO back. They've um, said that they've scrutinised it. Um, they've tested everything with it and they found no fault. So I don't know whether I was doing something wrong or what. Um, but they've given me a few pointers of what to do um, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to implement. But rest assured, if anything comes back, I will be telling you guys anything bad or if it does start to dose because I finally just got this tank back up to, to, to the right salinity um, after it dropping to 1.021. So yeah, don't want any more of those issues again, to be fair. But uh, yeah, we'll see where that takes us and there's no point in uh, going over it because there's nothing we could do. That's, that's what happened, you know what I mean? So hopefully... Uh, it won't happen, but only time will tell. But overall, guys, I'm thinking, like I said, with this yellow one, I think it's just a bit of coral warfare. But I'm just seeing so much growth, so, so much white tips. In fact, I think I'm actually seeing too too, too fast a one, uh, in, in all honesty. I don't know if you can actually get that. But, I mean, the PC Rainbow here, if you actually look, I mean, this camera doesn't do it any justice, but you can see, if I zoom in, you can see like, all those white tips there. It's like it's growing so, so fast that the skin, the, you know, the flesh can't keep up with it. Um, yeah, it's it's just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And this this one here, this Millie here, you'll be, well, you won't be able to see, actually. No, you won't be able to see. Um, this one has got so many white tips there, just at the front, you can see. Loads of white tips that's just growing so, so fast. And like I said, I don't know whether it's actually growing too quick, um, in all honesty. Um, like I said, I don't know whether that can, can actually be the case. But it just seems like it's growing, growing really, really quick. And and especially on this PC Rainbow that the flesh can't keep, seem to keep up. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know where the, where it, what's going on. But like I said, the, the ICP test has all come back really good, to be all on, in all honesty. So... There's no issues, no no metals or anything that's you know poisoning the tank or anything, and you know calcium, magnesium are all good, alkalinity I know is good. So yeah, I really don't know, and and you can always tell with SPS if SPS are annoyed or they're not happy. Polyp extension just recedes, and as you can see, just look at this my guitar. Polyp extension. This is during the day, guys. At night time, it's just the polyp extension on this is crazy. Same with the barley slimer. Just look at the polyps. So so happy. So if 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 the corals were unhappy, they certainly wouldn't be uh they certainly wouldn't be um, showing polyp extension like that. But that's just a quick one, guys. Like just showing the new corals. I know I'm not showing too much of them, but hopefully, fingers crossed over time, this will be a nice, beautiful piece of uh Raja Rampage, which I can't wait. And this rock hopefully will just grow up. And grow over with all these uh, zoas and you know, like I said, the clove polyps and the Duncan, and I think it'll just just set it off. And I think I'm I'm happy with the way that started to turn out. But uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. <coughs> Excuse me. Click the like, the thumbs up, and give me a, a you know a comment below. Like I said, I always get back to every one of you guys. If you're following us on our Instagram, go check us. If you're not, go check us out. That's where we post up who's going to be doing our live streams on Friday nights, as always. We always, uh, we've been managing to get a few guests on our show as well, which uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get many more on, do a few open mics, and we've been doing, uh, obviously, some uh, some giveaways as well, which we're going to be keep on doing these giveaways as well, because we know you guys enjoy it, and we love doing it. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, click the thumbs up and like. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe to me. It means a lot to me. So hopefully following me on my journey and uh, seeing how this uh, this section of the tank takes off. So once again, guys, I really appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on the uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.